Assalamu alaikum and hi to all lecturers. Before I proceed to the presentation, let me briefly introduce to you guys about our group. As you can see from the slide, the title of our project is Production of Polyhydroxyl Alkanoids or better known as PHA for short. Basically, PHA is a bioplastic. Before we go further, I would like to introduce the group members. The group consists of four members which is Go Shu Hui, Nur Azri Hizad, Siti Noor Arifa and myself Noor Shazana and we were supervised by Dr. Hafiza Shukur. To begin with the presentation, I will start with the feasibility of the study. As I stated earlier, PHA or well known as plastic-like material are considered to be a good candidate for biodegradable plastic. Hence, as all of us know, biodegradable plastic help to prevent the environment from the pollution. Another feasibility of the study is that PHA can be created from the renewable sources. From the study, we have chosen oil palm and tea fruit punch as our raw material to produce PHA. Furthermore, PHA are biocompatible which means not harmful to living tissue. They can be and have been utilized in a variety of medical and surgical application. Here are some application in which PHA have been very useful, such as single-use packaging for food, beverages, and consumer products. Hence, medical applications like, su like sutures, bone marrow, scaffolds, and bone plates are made from the PHA. Lastly, agriculture foils and film. Next, the reason why we choose the product, uh, besides the easy access to the raw material, we can see that PHA industry is rising up all around the world, including Malaysia. As you all can see from the slide, the demand for PHA market will be rising up to 14.2% from 62 million in 2020 to 121 million in 2025. Therefore, we were very eager to explore this industry more. For estimated production target, we have go we have go through for some research and we found out that production of PHA globally can produce around 66,000 tons per year. Taking into account, we assume that our plan can produce 3% from the global PHA produce. That means our plan can produce around 1,980 tons per year. Very good day to all the panels. My name is Ko Shu Hui. Today, I want to talk about our plant location. Our plant is located at Pase Gudang Industry Area in Johor. The location supplier of raw materials at Uru Lemi Spun Oil Mill, which is distant from our plant location 90.8 km. The transportation mode has our road, airport, railway, and seaport. Facilities available near plant site location are supermarket, hospital, airport, terminal bus, and port. The plant location nearby has the label supply. Assalamualaikum and hi, I'm Siti Arifa. I will present about the process in our BFD. First is the milding process, which is uh, the empty fruit bunch EFB was collected and milded with machine to obtain desired particle size, which is 1 mm. The milding process uh, operated at room temperature 25 degrees Celsius, 1 atm, and the grounded EFB are transported um, to the next process, which is hydrolysis. Then in hydrolysis, uh, we know that among the various hydrolysis process, acid hydrolysis is well known and widely used for um, lignocellulosic biomass LCB where it can penetrate lignin and break down both cellulose and hemicellulose to produce simple sugar without any pretreatments. The enzymatic hydrolysis process is more expensive than the uh, acid hydrolysis process. In this study, the carbon source comes from the OPEFB acid hydrolysis and also sulfuric acid and water are used during hydrolysis process at 1 to 1 degree Celsius and 1 ATM. And the next one is the reverse osmosis filtration. In this process, the membranes possess more ability to retain fermentable sugars under various conditions like pH, pressure, temperature, and elute concentration, and led to remove inhibitory compounds as well as increasing the concentration of the sugar in the hydrolysate simultaneously. Glucose is produced during this process and insoluble solids are removed. This process operates at 25 degrees Celsius and 1 atm. The 
fermentation. You know that uh, batch fermentation is an appropriate process and widely used for PHA production because of low cost and flexibility. However, the productivity of batch fermentation is low compared to the other fermentations due to the degradation of the accumulated PHAs after complete utilization of the carbon source cause a reduction in PHA content. Addition of high concentration of substrate in batch culture to overcome exhausting of carbon leads to inhibit the growth as well as production yield. In this study, the fermentation, pro uh, the fermentation process for all pathways are carried out at 25 degrees Celsius 1 ATM. The outflow uh, only containing the biomass, which is PHA, and Cupravidus negator, C negator, is being added during this process, which is um, our micro that we use in this process. The next one is the centrifugation part. Okay, industrial scale centrifuge are usually used in manufacturing and waste processing to sediment suspended solids or to separate atmospheric liquids. In this process, biomass, which is PHA from fermentation process, uh, then entered the centrifuge. This centrifuge work at 4,500 rpm and the liquid waste is removed by centrifugation which uh, operates at 25 degrees celsius 1 atm the outflow only containing the biomass which is pH 8. next is extraction this process developed a high pressure unit to use acetone at 1 to 0 degrees celsius which is above the solvent's boiling point and a pressure of 7 atm to dissolve a short chain length of pH 8 which uh, we, uh, we have the high recovery and purity and precipitation of the pH A from acetone simply occurs during cooling down to room temperature. Nitrogen is added to remove the oxygen. Battery evaporator. We use this uh, process um, to separate pH A and acetone. This evaporator operates at 50 degrees Celsius and 1 atm. The next one is microfiltration. It is a process where ideally only suspended solids are rejected and the pH A in the liquid form will... Um, Pass the membrane freely while the biomass will be rejected. This process operates at 25 degrees Celsius and 1 atm. This drying in downstream processing, um, lithalized biomass is usually employed since uh, this prevents the separated product from changing its nature. It is well known that freeze drying is an energy intensive, intensive process and this process operates at 25 degrees Celsius 1 atm. Drying in downstream processing, um, lithalized biomass is usually employed since uh, this prevents the separated product from changing its nature. It is well known that freeze drying is an energy intensive, intensive process and this process operates at 25 degrees Celsius 1 atm. Next is the diagram for our BFD. We can see that uh, we use EF, EFB as our raw material and the last we get the product which is uh, polyhydroxy alkanoids which is uh, PHA. Okay. I'm Nazri Saib Abdul Aziz. Today I'm going to present on the PFD part. For the upstream processing, the OPFB will be carried into the myelin process and here the OPFB will be converted into linocellulose. And because of the linocellulose, it's hard to break down so we're going through the acid hydrolysis process. The water will come in through the stream and then also the separate acid will be pumped into the hydrolysis tank. And however, some of the linocellulose will remain untreated will not convert into glucose, so the glucose and antitrinous cellulose will go through the storage for the batch cooling process and then we'll go straight to the reverse osmosis filtration and here the antitrinous cellulose will, will be removed from the stream through the solid phase uh, and then the glucose will be carried into the liquid stream to the downstream processing and then at the downstream processing, the glucose will enter the fermenter and then the medium and sinusator will be pumped in. The oxygen will also be pumped in here. And then the sinusator will be fat bash into the fermenter. It will be pumped continuously. And then the fermenter, actually the fermentation is the intracellular fermentation. And then the biomass and the PHA will go through the centrifuge and then from the centrifuge, the liquid waste will be removed and then the solid form of biomass and PHA will enter the third tank. Here we're going to extract out the PHA from the biomass and then the acetone will be used. The nitrogen is pumped to avoid the explosion to occur in the extraction tank. And then the biomass and acetone and the PHA and going through the microfiltration. So here the biomass will be removed through the solid phase and then the acetone and PHA will be go through the evaporator and here the acetone will pump out as a gas at the top stream and then the pH A will go through the freeze dryer and here we go going to convert the pH A from the liquid form into the powder form the desirable product of our end product the economic evaluation estimation is calculated based on the 5 years period the equipment is expected to cost around RM 1.9 million 
the total capital investment value is 12.576 million the annual cost of raw material which is our mat raw material is cheap around 5 cent per kilogram the cost will be around 1.10 million per year and the annual value of the product which means that the price of the batch A is high around 28.2 cent ringgit per kilogram so we will be able to produce around RM 34.24 million per year the operators needed will be expected around 80 operators per shift with 3 shifts per day and the operating rate will be 9.22 ringgit uh, per hour and the annual utilities cost which we uh, cut down the cost of electricity and use the natural gas will cost us only 20, uh, 210,000 and we pay the royalty payment in the lump sum and the total product cost without depreciation is RM 22.388 million per year the income tax rate of Malaysia is around 70% the expected return of investment is uh, 0.5% which is not too good uh, per year and then the payback period the investor are expected to get their money back around 10.3 years and the net return is also positive the profit measure with annual NLP and continuous cash flow shown the positive value this means even if the expected return of investment is not high the profit is still ensured here and then for the constant inflated values uh, the positive value shown. This means that even if inflation occur, the process will not be affected uh, caused by it. That's all from me. Thank you. Next, we will talk about what are the main concerns of the project. The main concerns of the project are planning and designing the production of PHA. In this project, we must successfully design the plan equipment, materials, plant location, and financial cost estimation for production of PHA. Then, the most excited in this project is apply the theory learned from plant design costs into the project designing to our plant. We learn a lot of new things from this project. Thank you.